So, Ralph, um, people out in, over in Cook City seem to be a little upset about this whole deal with the, with the wolf. Um, I mean, is that like spilling down here to Gardner also? There are a few locals that are totally against the wolf, but I will tell you right now that I have no problem with them. No problem. And do you guide, now I, I saw on your uh, your website that uh, you guide for uh, elk and deer and I think bear. Do you also guide wolf hunts? We don't. You don't? We do not guide for wolf hunts. Mm, and why is that? Well, because I don't believe in killing the wolves. I think the wolves are a, a predator and I think they're good for for the environment. I think when the wolves first first were introduced, they they kind of changed, you know, they, they kind of, the, the elk kind of reaped havoc, the wolves reaped havoc against, havoc against the elk. But I think after the years, I think the elk have adjusted, and I, I, I do not think the wolf is a problem. Really? Yes. And you guide people uh, not just for hunting trips, but also for animal watching trips as well. Totally. Right? Yes, I do that. Yeah. And yep. what do you what do you hear from your from your clients? What are they saying? Because I know this has kind of gone viral on the internet. They are always looking for a wolf. <laughs> so so they 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 make my job kind of hard sometimes because I have to go either. Find him wolf sign or find him a wolf, and and wolves are really not that you know you a person don't see a wolf every day up here. You do you, you, it, it, it's like you, it's like a it, it's like a rare occasion anymore. Because the population is down a little. Yeah, exactly, and 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 I think the wolves have like a I honestly think the wolves have expanded their range. You know, like they like they're, they're, there are more wolves down in Paradise Valley than there is in Yellowstone. Put it that way. Really? Yeah, my opinion. Really? Yeah. So do you take people down there then? Pardon me? Do you take people down there? I, I do not. I, 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 just, I, I just do the, uh, the Absork at Beartooth Wilderness mm -hmm. and the Gallatin Forest of, uh, in the mountains above Jardine. Uh-huh. Okay. On, 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 on the north end of Yellowstone. Sure, sure. And then, so how do you feel about uh, shooting the collared wolf over there by Cook City? I, th I, I honestly think that's wrong. I, I, I honestly think they're... I honestly think there was no call for that, and, and I think the people that shot the wolf, or the person that shot the wolf, was just trying to stir up trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's still one more permit out there, right? Yes, there is. Yeah, 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 yeah there, there's one more permit in, 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 in that particular area from Cook City. I think it's 316. Yeah, yeah. So we could see another wolf killed between now. And oh, totally, totally. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, and and and. Uh, I would, I would suspect that before it's over. Mm -hmm. So you, so you, you get business on people who come out to do the wolf watching. Totally, totally. Yeah, yeah. I, I get a lot. I, I get a lot of summer business, you know, with with the wolves and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's an important, important thing to do. Oh, totally. Yeah, totally. So where do you think? What's the middle ground here? I mean, because no laws were broken. I mean, this wolf was killed legally. So there wasn't anything wrong with the way it was done, but how do you kind of bring people together on this? I think it's I think it's going to be hard to to, to bring people together on that because you because you got one group that's anti-hunting, you got one group that is hunting, and I just you know you you know uh, with with the wolf situation, I I don't think there's any any. Uh, middle ground on that. I think it's either they kill the wolves or they don't kill the wolves. I just don't think there's any middle ground these people around here. No way around that. And what about here in Gardner? I mean, how, how, how are people split on it? Is it 50 50s? No, I, I, I would probably say probably 90% of the people in this area around Gardner here are for for the wolves. I no. think there's... Sure, a lot of them probably make their living off of that. They do. Uh, t totally, they do, yeah. Yep, and yep, and, and uh, I've, I've got a lot of friends that that make a living off the wolves, and I, I make a living off the wolves during my summer business. 
And uh, people coming in from outside, you know, like like your your clients, do they think? Do they come in and do, do they think that the locals don't like the wolves? Do they have that that like eighty percent number wrong? Uh, so could you repeat that? Well, when people come in, do they? From outside, you know, like somebody flies in from California, Correct, yeah. and you take them out on a tour. Do they think that the locals are actually against the wolves? There is a lot of people that come in this area that that think all of us locals are are against the wolves, and it's not it's it's not the case. It's not true. So you try to set them straight. I I, I set them straight. Are they surprised by that? They're shocked by that. Really? Totally. So where do you think this is all going? Pardon me? Where do you think this is all going? How, did, how does this work out? I think there's probably more people for the wolves and against the wolves. So I, I'm, I'm thinking just just with all uh, you know, the phone calls and the emails and the and, and the you know on uh, I guess you'd call it on, on Facebook and all that kind of stuff. I I think that it's going toward more toward being wolf friendly in this area.